Okay, as of me recording this video, X Defiance Season 2 is just over two weeks away, and I thought I'd make this video just so we could discuss what we could potentially be seeing coming in this new season, day one, or even mid-season. But let's talk about day one, because that's the main meat and potatoes of the season we want to be knowing. So sit back, relax, grab a drink, like and subscribe for more X Defiant, and let's go right into this video. So as I've mentioned in the intro, the season is just over two weeks away, so the one thing we can definitely expect, either a week before or probably a couple of days before the season, is a XD brief, which will show off the new battle pass, the three new maps coming to the season, and all the other features and changes that are going to be coming to the game. Um, starting off with the new maps, we're obviously going to be knowing what the new maps are going to be, um, and I'm hoping they change up their way of releasing them, because... At first, I'm sure everyone could agree that one map a month sounded like a great idea for the game. It really did. But in practice, um, it didn't really work out, I don't think. Um, so hopefully they'll reveal the new maps and then say, we're changing the way we're releasing them. We're going to release two on the first day of Season 2. And then halfway during the season, release the third map. And then hopefully, since they've got all the season one, well, season one, year one content planned out, they can bring a map forward from season three and add that at the end of season two, and then basically just move everything forward, which would help out the longevity of the game quite a bit. Um, more maps to play on, the better, and that would also mean more 24-7 playlists of the new maps hopefully already existing maps in the game like some more let's get in a 20 let's get a 24 7 rockefeller arena playlist you know and throw blue oh i can't say it the watchdogs map in there as well that would be uh, a great one to play um and obviously we'll have the battle pass to be seeing and supposedly this is highway men themed which i'm not too sure what that is i'm I love Ubisoft, and I know my Ubisoft stuff when it comes to certain games, but I don't know if that's like a Ubisoft franchise or anything in the realm of Ubisoft themed. Um, but that's what the Battle Pass supposedly is. Um, obviously the new faction is leaked to be Assassin's Creed, which if it's Assassin's Creed, then that could be pretty interesting to see how that time period is going to affect the gameplay. Perhaps like they've got their blade as their weapon. And um, instead, like, you can run around just using the blade instead of, like, the phantom shield, for example. Um, that could be pretty cool, actually having, like, a melee weapon um, like that. Uh, as for the features we could hope for, um, to start off, I really hope they've got daily login rewards. Um, a good ex extensive... It, in I can't speak. A good enticing move to bring people back every single day. Um, perhaps it could be some weapon camos like they do on Twitch with the uh, Twitch drops. It could be some battle pass boosters, weapon boosters, perhaps a small amount of X coins, like perhaps 75 if you complete an entire week, and then each week it goes up by 25 or something like that. Um, so we're going into that new currency thing that Mark was speaking about, but obviously instead of it being this new currency, it's X coins. Or if it is that new currency they bring, they could do that. That could be pretty interesting. Um, and I forgot to mention, we're also going to be getting new camos definitely to grind for. Um, one of them is like liquid obsidian or something like that um, from the leaks. I'm not too sure. And then obviously also the three new weapons as well, which will be on the battle pass, which... That's self-explanatory, but we'll know those when we do. Um, as for going back to the things that we could hopefully see, um, private matches, which that would be really good for tournaments, getting thumbnails for videos, I'm sure everybody has said that, and also just exploring these maps and taking them in properly, because these maps are incredible, and I want to look around them and find all the Easter eggs, because there's definitely some Easter eggs hiding on this, these maps. Like on Attica Heights, there's a... Uh, Easter egg from the France Ubisoft France team, um, saying on like on the middle statue, there's it's been pulled from another Ghost Recon game, which is pretty cool. So, if there's stuff like that hiding on other maps, I definitely want to try and find them. Um, and combat records, I really want to know. Like, I don't fully care about my stats as such, but I love looking at them every now and then. I really want to know like how many kills like we've got with guns and whatnot, the accuracy, just. Keep a track of that sort of stuff, just like housekeeping. Um, 
because it's always just fun just to flick through those things just to see how you're doing and like take notes if you're improving or whatnot which I think that'd be really really useful to have and obviously you see how many kills you got with guns like the guns in the game so <laughs> with it being uh, four months four or five months after the game's launched um, you're gonna have quite a load of kills and if they are still tracking you're gonna open that up and think Jesus Christ <laughs> um, and what else? I'm hoping as well. There's uh, probably, hopefully, mm, nah, it's 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 difficult to think because they've said so much um, that is coming, and the community has suggested so many different things. Um, the weapon attachments also catering to the the uh, skin that you've got on your guns. Um, at the moment, the epic and legendary skins do not have the attachments on them. Uh, like the foregrip, the stocks and whatnot. The only things that actually appear on those is the uh, scopes and laser sights, which that's not that big of a deal. Um, it's the one like some I'll just make the guns look a bit cleaner when you're using the le legendary and epic skin. Um, but the main thing I'm sure everybody's probably going to keep bitching and complaining about, which is just the main thing that I'm hoping they sort just so people shut up about it is the net code which once again it really isn't that big of a deal like i've barely had any disconnects i don't lag the game runs perfectly smooth yes there's the odd time where bullets don't register but that's once in a blue moon and it really doesn't become an issue but for the sake of people constantly crying and complaining about this issue which has been worked on so goddamn much and improved since these early betas last year I just hope they manage to pull through and succeed in making the game f feel better in that regards um, so everyone stops crying and complaining about it because I'm, I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of it <laughs> as many other x community creators are as well who I've interacted with and they've interacted with me you know who you are love you lot <laughs> um, but that's so. If, if this is a job, I'm, I'm I'm slightly rushing this video because I do have work soon as I'm recording this. But um, I just wanted to get something out there, try and get the conversation turning. Um, and hopefully, when we find out what's coming in season two at the launch, um, as well as throughout the season, which one thing they have confirmed throughout mid season two is the objective XP going towards weapon mastery. Which thank. God, because it takes ages to level up guns still. Yes, they've adjusted the timing, like the XP amounts and all that, but it still takes so long. Um, and that f happened in mid-season two is fantastic. I wish it was sooner, but they've got other things to prioritize, and I'm happy waiting for that. Um, I'm still going to be playing the game regardless. Um, but yes, I think that's all about it now for this video. Um, sorry if it did come off as rush as I just said. Um, but I will definitely do more of these this style of content. Um, it seems to be working really well, and I really appreciate all the support and love that you have been giving for my channel recently. And we and I just said in the uh, recent Black Ops 6 review comments video, thank you again so much for 400 subscribers. It means the world to me that I'm able to do this, and I've finally hit a goal that I've been uh, trying to strive for for such a long time, and finally hitting it. It feels amazing, and I'm definitely working on something to do for 400 subscribers, um, but hopefully I'll have some answers to what I'm going to do for that soon. Um, I'm th I've got a couple ideas in mind, but we'll just have to see what happens. And one more thing I will also say about the Season 2 launch of X Defiant. I have spoken to a couple content creators who also make X Defiant content. Um, one of them is Scotty McGames, I think his name is. I, I don't know off by heart, it's Scotty something, He you'll see him in the comments around, <laughs> Scotty, sup man, thank you for everything so far, um, him and me and him and a couple of others, we're thinking of uh, trying to plan like a, a season 2 launch party stream with, with us all, like, base, just bringing, the, bringing some hype to the game, um, and just having a good time, enjoying the new season, so look out for that, something's going to be hopefully organised, um, but yes, that's enough of me rambling. 
thank you so much for the continued support. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and notifications on so you do not miss out on any of my content, whether it's X to Pi and the occasional Call of Duty rant, um, or whatever other game I decide to stream and play because I'm a variety channel. All games I play are listed in my about section. Um, if any of them take your fancy, be sure to stick along. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I still need to work on outros. Um, but yes, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Thank you for watching.